Hello there, let's talk today about how to add a high vision camera or high vision NVR to the IVMF 4200. As you can see, the camera is connected to the NVR and the camera is there close to my window. So here we go. That's the camera connected via Ethernet cable. So I don't need to use the power supply here because the Ethernet cable powers the camera. So the camera sends the video to the NVR and as long as I have the video here arriving at the NVR, I can see the image on the screen. As you can see here, that's the image from my NVR. I can just right click, select the menu here and see everything inside, right? So here is the camera that I have, the camera number one connected to the port number one. Here I have the IP address, all the information that I need and the camera is working. So make sure the camera is working here on your NVR, then you're ready to go to add to your IVMS 4200, all right? So something important here that you need to check is the IP address of the NVR or the camera if you're connecting the camera directly to the IVMS. In my case, I'm connecting the NVR. So here in the configuration, I need to come to network. And here I see the IPv4 address 192.168.0.200. So that's the one that I need to know. Okay, back here to my computer, I have a diagram. And here you can see the camera connected to the NVR using an internal IP address. But what's important for me is this IP address of the NVR that connects to my computer. So I have 192.168.0.200, as you saw there on the NVR. And that's the same range of my laptop. On my laptop, I'm gonna have the software, the IVMS 4200. Then I need to connect to this IP address here. So guys, the idea is that I don't see the camera directly from the laptop. I see the NVR and the NVR sees the camera. That's the idea. Video comes from the camera to the NVR, the NVR forwards the video to the computer as long as I have a web browser or the IVMS 4200 here, okay? And by the way, I already have the web browser here up and running from my PC. Then I have image from the NVR, not directly from the camera. Look here, here I have my NVR and the camera number one, which is the only one that I have here, but it's the camera connected to the NVR. The browser sees the NVR as well, right? So back here to the diagram, that's what we see. And let's just bring the software. So come here to the desktop. I have the IVMS 4200 here, right click, double click, and bring the client up. Username and password, just log in here. When you log in for the first time, when install the Denivir, you need to rate the username and password, right? So here we go. I have the software and back to the diagram. Let me show the diagram and the software at the same time. So what I'm going to do here is connect uh, the NVR to the software, meaning add the NVR to the software and then from the software, I see the NVR and then the camera because I can see any camera connected to the NVR, right? So here's the idea. I come here to, at first I don't have anything here. I just have this main screen when I start the software for the first time. Then I need to look here for the configuration part, right? So here I have main view. That's not the one that I'm looking for. Main view is just to visual visualize everything. And then I have here remote playback. That's not the one. And then I have device manager, management, here we go. And I go to this part and here I can refresh and try to find my NVR on the network. So the idea is that the software that's here on my laptop tries to find the NVR here in the network by broadcasting the information here if the NVR sees the broadcast information, it uh, comes back here in, with the information for the software. But sometimes it doesn't work for different reasons on your network. And then if it doesn't work, you need to know the IP address. That's why I came here to the NVR, right? On the network part, the NVR. And I'm checking with the IP address that I have here. That's the information that I need to use when I'm connecting here with the IVMS 4200. So I know the IP address. I'm going to manually add the NVR then. So I come here and 
I type the name. Let's see, Hike Vision NVR. That's the name that I'm going to use. And the IP address that I know now, 0 to 100. Okay, ports is the standard port. I'm not touching this username and password that I have there. Just type it here and click Add, right? And here we go, it's online. You need to check if it's green like this and it's online. And you already see some information here, sending and receiving data, which means it's working, it's communicating, right? The software is communicating with the NVR. And now it's just added to the NVR, to the software, sorry. The NVR is added to the software. And now I need live view. To be able to need have a live view, I need to create groups here. So here I have one group, which has the NVR ready. Okay, you automatically uh, created a group here with the NVR. So that's great. I'll just come back here to the main screen and now to the main view. In the main view, I see the NVR, high vision NVR here. And I just double click here and here we go. I have the image on my screen, okay? And I was uh, saying before, as you can see, I have the NVR, four channels for the NVR, and I have one of the cameras connected there so I can see it. So double click here. I can see the camera working. It's running. It's raining <laughs> outside. Okay. So pretty good. It's working right now with the IVMS 4200. Okay. So pretty basic, pretty simple as well. Just make sure you understand your network, your diagrams and everything else. You need to make sure you have your camera already working with the NVR. Here you see on the diagram that has a different IP range for your camera. The NVR gives the camera an IP address. And as long as I have there connected, I forget this IP address when I'm connecting here to the IVMS 4200 because I don't need it. I needed the internal IP address. That's the one on the LAN port. Back here to the NVR, we can see here that I have this cable connected to my switch and then I have access to the NVR via my computer. So make sure you have this working, everything working. You can also check on your web browser and you're good to go to have your IVMS working as mine, all right? So guys, that's all for today. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.